This is the Cambridge English First, Test 1. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B or C. Question one. You hear a woman talking on her mobile phone about a missing piece of furniture. I see. It wasn't in the van. But never mind, I'll call the removals company. It's okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. I just wonder what they've done with it. I mean, it isn't something you can easily lose, is it? You'd think someone would have noticed almost straight away. I'm sure it'll turn up very soon. So don't get too upset about it. It's just rather odd. And considering all the things that could have gone wrong, I think we've been fairly lucky, really. Don't you? I see. It wasn't in the van. But never mind. I'll call the removals company. It's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just wonder what they've done with it. I mean, it isn't something you can easily lose, is it? You'd think someone would have noticed almost straight away. I'm sure it'll turn up very soon. So don't get too upset about it. It's just rather odd. And considering all the things that could have gone wrong, I think we've been fairly lucky, really. Don't you? Question 2. You hear two students talking about their current course topic. I think the lectures are really fascinating, don't you? Only if you're interested in that period of history. You'd think the lecture would have moved on to the next period by now. It's much more interesting. But we needed extra time on it because it's such a complex area. Yeah, I can't make head nor tail of it. We need to get to grips with it, though, or we won't be able to manage what's coming next. But is it really useful anyway? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. I think the lectures are really fascinating, don't you? Only if you're interested in that period of history. You'd think the lecture would have moved on to the next period by now. It's much more interesting. But we needed extra time on it because it's such a complex area. Yeah, I can't make head nor tail of it. We need to get to grips with it, though, or we won't be able to manage what's coming next. But is it really useful anyway? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Question 3. You hear two business people talking about a contract. Have you heard that the contract's been cancelled? No, I had no idea. You must be really annoyed after all the work you put into it. Initially, I was, yes. I spent three weeks putting it all together and the company were really positive about it. But then I found out that they're in some financial difficulty, so it's really unfortunate for them. Oh. We've worked with them for years. It was a huge contract, wasn't it? What are you going to do now? Well... We've just had a very big order from one of our trusted clients, so that's taken any pressure off. Have you heard that the contract's been cancelled? No, I had no idea. You must be really annoyed after all the work you put into it. Initially, I was, yes. I spent three weeks putting it all together and the company were really positive about it. But then I found out that they're in some financial difficulty, so it's really unfortunate for them. Oh. We've worked with them for years. It was a huge contract, wasn't it? What are you going to do now? Well, we've just had a very big order from one of our trusted clients, so that's taken any pressure off. Question 4. 
You hear an artist telling a friend about an art prize he's just won. You must be thrilled after the announcement that you've won such a famous art prize. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not quite sure how I feel yet. I'd always wondered about the idea of an art prize. I mean, it's not exactly a competition, so it seems strange. And you never quite know what the judges are looking for when they pick a winner. Really? Well, yes, but actually, when I was on my own in the studio, I felt much more positive about it, and even started dreaming about how my career would change now, not to mention what I'll do with the money. <laughs> well, good luck. You must be thrilled after the announcement that you've won such a famous art prize. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not quite sure how I feel yet. I'd always wondered about the idea of an art prize. I mean, it's not exactly a competition, so it seems strange. And you never quite know what the judges are looking for when they pick a winner. Really? Well, yes, but actually, when I was on my own in the studio, I felt much more positive about it, and even started dreaming about how my career would change now, not to mention what I'll do with the money. <laughs> well, good luck. Question five. You overhear a woman talking to a friend on her mobile phone. I don't mind when you come over as long as it isn't too late. 6.30 would be fine and give us time to have a really good chat. Is that OK? I have to get up early on Thursday morning because I have to get the earlier flight. I'd booked myself on a 10 o'clock one, but that's been cancelled. There's another one in the afternoon, but I'd miss the meeting if I took that one. It's a bit of a nuisance, but there you go. Anyway, it'll be great to see you. I don't mind when you come over, as long as it isn't too late. 6.30 would be fine, and give us time to have a really good chat. Is that OK? I have to get up early on Thursday morning, because I have to get the earlier flight. I'd booked myself on a 10 o'clock one, but that's been cancelled. There's another one in the afternoon, but I'd miss the meeting if I took that one. It's a bit of a nuisance, but there you go. Anyway, it'll be great to see you. Question 6. You hear a guitarist talking about his profession. People ask me how to set up a band, but that's a matter of luck. There's no simple answer. Find people who want it as badly as you do, who can also be your best friends. I want to say something about the difficulty of learning to be a musician. It takes thousands of hours of practice. You have to be blessed with talent. You have to have day jobs until you finally make it. But if you have a passion for something and you work hard enough, you'll get there. You'll soon find out which are the venues with the most enthusiastic fans. People ask me how to set up a band, but that's a matter of luck. There's no simple answer. Find people who want it as badly as you do, who can also be your best friends. I want to say something about the difficulty of learning to be a musician. It takes thousands of hours of practice. You have to be blessed with talent. You have to have day jobs until you finally make it, but if you have a passion for something and you work hard enough, you'll get there. You'll soon find out which are the venues with the most enthusiastic fans. Question 7. You hear a woman talking to a sales assistant. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I bought these trainers from your company online, and I really like them and everything, but they're a bit tight. I was wondering if you could give me a refund. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't do that. Why not? It's obvious I haven't worn them, and I've still got the receipt. Is it because I bought them online? Aren't you legally required to give a refund? No, it's not that. These trainers don't come from here. Look at the receipt. It's got the wrong name on. Try next door. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I bought these trainers from your company online and I really like them and everything, but they're a bit tight. I was wondering if you could give me a refund. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't do that. Why not? It's obvious I haven't worn them and I've still got the receipt. Is it because I bought them online? Aren't you legally required to give a refund? No, it's not that. These trainers don't come from here. Look at the receipt. 
It's got the wrong name on. Try next door. Question 8. You hear a woman talking about a radio chat show. I love listening to the Claire Nolan show on Friday at 8 o'clock. She has great guests and they often have a good time together on the show. Claire has a way of getting people to say things which come across as very funny. She doesn't come across as a celebrity, but more a normal person who is clever and tells us things we don't know in an enthusiastic and useful manner. She's good at doing that, at the same time as making her guests feel involved. So many presenters nowadays seem to use their shows just to show off their own talents, but not Claire Nolan. I love listening to the Claire Nolan show on Friday at 8 o'clock. She has great guests and they often have a good time together on the show. Claire has a way of getting people to say things which come across as very funny. She doesn't come across as a celebrity, but more a normal person who is clever and tells us things we don't know in an enthusiastic and useful manner. She's good at doing that, at the same time as making her guests feel involved. So many presenters nowadays seem to use their shows just to show off their own talents, but not Claire Nolan. That is the end of part one.